Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw using different brushes. I will explain just this for brushes, smooth brush, flatten brush, fill brush and scrape brush. So let's get started with the first brush. The smooth brush, its shortcut is Shift S if you want to launch it let's use the hotkeys over here by pressing shift s that will take you directly to activate the smooth brush what can this brush do so let's select the draw brush go over here for example to draw and to alter geometry on the squad sphere or you can select also You can select also the draw, the draw chart to alter the geometry on the quad sphere or to carve on this uh, quad sphere. So what can this brush do? This brush eliminates irregularities. So let's launch it using uh, this hotkey shift plus S from the keyboard. Go over here to to smooth different parts all over here you can also uh, decrease the strength in order to get in order to get a good smoothing just you should set the strength value over here also the radius so let's uh, see what is the difference uh, between the, the first first process and second process over here we have the this edge is much smoothed the uh, smoothed out than the other edges use it over here so we can deduce that the smooth brush can eliminate irregularities in the area of the mesh within the brush's influence by smoothing the positions of the vertices so it can the inversion do the inverse the inverse of this tool is to sharpen the details in a mesh by applying laplacian smooth in the opposite direction so let's hold control and try it like this hold control and try it like this so let's uh, discuss some basic essential uh, settings for this brush and that's what we call brush settings go over here click on this you will get this pop up menu which contain different factors and values and features also let's uh, try to understand some features over here so let's go back to explain other great features for example concerning the direction that operation to apply to the mesh this setting can be targeted with control while sculpting as said previously so let's hold control then take your cursor hold and the drag your mouse cursor over here to see such effect exactly and you can see the effect on this region if you can follow me that's the effect exactly when holding control key and dragging using the smooth uh, brush tool so the the meaning of smooth brush smooth the surface of the mesh by decreasing the difference between creases and volleys and that's a great definition for it to understand what can this brush do by going to deformation in this pop-up menu in brush settings what can this feature of deformation do 
Concerning this Laplacian feature, this feature smooths the surface and the volume. It's now it's selected and applied to our geometry. So can smooth the surface and the volume as seen previously. You can also by select the other feature which is surface for deformation this uh, feature smooths the surface of the mesh while preserving the volume let's go back to see so let's smooth looking for this uh, shape preservation how much of the original shape is preserved when smoothing and that what can this feature do to our mesh by decreasing and increasing the value over here you can see that you can make a difference between between the shape to be smoothed out and the region by increasing the volume reduces the effect of having multiple iterations on the strength of smoothing. Also, for the pervertex displacement, as you can see here in this uh, settings panel, what can this feature change? Uh, this feature uh, is uh, how much the position of each individual vertex influences the final result. Also, increasing the value reduces the overall strength of smoothing by decreasing and decreasing the value. So let's go to apply it over here. You can apply it and check it out to understand the feature efficiently. Then we move to the next feature which is iterations. We have a double headed arrow which let you to drag from uh, the left to the right or from to the right to the left. Also, what uh, that means, it's the number of smooth iterations per, per, per brush step. You can also set it like this, 3 or 4, or you leave it as it is. So let's try to also to smooth all these settings are very important to set your smooth brush settings. So we notice that this method works by applying rigorous smoothing, computing the difference between the original blended between start of iteration and fully original based on shape preservation. And the smoothed smash, smoothed mesh smoothing these offsets, pushing vertices back using the smoothed offsets and finally blending in the original mesh based on per vertex displacement.